Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. And if you do, you get feel it's insightful or just uplift your vibes in beautiful ways. Please go ahead and share. You never know. It may do the same for others or even more. Um, today, I'm being guided to go um, back to my tarot reading. This is for the month of May for the sign of Gemini. This is for the whole month of May uh, opening up. You know, I've been doing a lot of different videos. And it's told me, hey, you need to go back to your tarots. You, you, haven't, you know, you haven't been um, doing that for a while. So I always let people see, you know, I have nothing on my table except my, you know, my feathers uh, as well as my crystals. You know, I got my little <laughs> mug of uh, cupcake mug over here and my tarot's. Um, yes, 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 yes. So it's just being able, you know, some people are like, hey, you're cheating. I'm not, I don't know how you can cheat on tarot cards, but, <laughs> you know, um, I, you know, I'm just letting people see what I do and straight, legit and transparent. So much love to that. So, um, universe, what is up for the month of May for beautiful Gemini? I just finished doing Capricorn and so many beautiful things is coming in, but there are cert certain toxic attachments that has to get out the way for those things to take place. So I'm seeing what's going on for the month of May for beautiful Gemini, beautiful Gemini. Okay. Gemini forgiveness. You have placed forgiveness in your heart for people that have people and situations that really uh, made you feel like you were stagnant. And universe is so proud of you for that. You know, you have placed that in there. You know, you have placed understanding in your life. You know, not everybody is going to move like you do. No, a lot of people are not going to see the views that you were blessed to see. So these are the different things that they're telling you congrats for because you really have uh, made beautiful, powerful steps on forgiving, uh, you know, forgiving the unforgivable. And they're so proud of you for that. You've been looking for signs that you felt like you were doing the, you know, doing the right thing. They're telling you, yes, you were. And that was a big yes. Um, and for that, you know, you may have, uh, there's been merging that was been trying to take place and there's more things that you're working on and they said this will come in, um, this will come in, uh, in that rotation where everything is as it should be at this point right now. They're saying, do not allow yourself to feel like, um, you should have been in a, in, in a higher level. You should have been a lot further than you are, uh, but you just really don't know the vibrations that you have been, uh, connecting with is really showing you that and the merging um, had to slow down for a minute um, the same thing for Capricorns it was just like the merging had to slow down for a minute because there are certain things that has not been yet you know revealed yet uh, that is going to take place that's going to be a part of this uh, this um, this merge that's taking place you know it, it started but it had it stopped for a minute and it's uh there are certain things that was underplay about that it was some kind of line of manipulation not on your part but other things unseen forces so uh this just took a pause for the cause for a minute and then it's going to go back and when it goes back they're saying it's going to be so much powerful than you ever uh imagined but just because the fact is you took they're saying just because of the fact that you took that forgiveness and it took place you're you have been placing balance into your life you know you've been you you've been really s settling down on those things you know a lot of times we get frustrated on what universe is telling us like you know it, it's like corrective criticism and a lot of times we get annoyed by that but this is showing you you know you've been really listening towards what they say that you needed to take place in your life for that balance that was truly needed and they're congratulating you for that because it's it you know it's showing you all the things that you needed to see before that you weren't able to see um that you're able to see now than you were before you have set your intention god dog gemini you're doing good because it's like the fact is you've been setting your intentions on what you want you've been working for manny's you know you're trying to manifest something very beautiful in your life and they're they're very universe is very proud of you for the things you're doing because you're setting your intentions whatever is standing in the way you're working hard to eliminate that and they are so proud of you for that um 
different things you know i guess there's some guardian angels that you didn't know that was there just trying to give you some insight and you know there may be certain things that's still really heavy on you and they're trying to get your attention by letting you know you know uh certain things is underway um that is uh that you're protected from as well as uh being guided towards so they're telling you allow that that vibration to come in because it's coming in and it feels very unfamiliar and it feels kind of strange because it's so heavy and they're telling you that's not bad that's something that's coming in good so they say don't block that because this is what's needed um you know you've been placing your your intentions but you, you don't slacked on your studies and they tell you better get back on it you don't get back on it there's certain things that you you know that is right on the tip of, of, of the brink of uh, manifesting and you need to have that study that they're guiding you towards doing so they're telling you to not um, to not slack on that because these are the things that um, uh, uh, what's taking place it's like some kind of hope is coming through because when I'm seeing it I'm seeing the rainbow because even though you, you place forgiveness into your life and you set your intentions and you created balance there are certain things that you may feel like you don't believe is taking place but it truly is and they're telling you you know this is happening for you this is this is taking place so they're they're telling you to get back on your studies this is something that you needed and the romance is there but you know like they said you know with the this is underlining with that you know on the study you know the the rainbow is there you know that's that sign of hope you know your um that romance that you're wanting into your life, you know, you're setting your intentions for it, but you still have some kind of fear that's taking place and they want you to be able to get rid of that. You know, and you've been doing that through the line of retreat. You've been allowing yourself to take that break that's truly needed. You know, um, you, 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 uh, you may have been focused on this love that has been taking place and you're wanting that. Um, and their universe is really helping you with that. Sorry about that, y'all. This incense is going. <laughs> so if you see that smoke going on, it was like the incense is really coming through. Um, you know, your retreat, you've been taking breaks for that. You know, and they say the more you allow yourself to take frequent breaks, you know, self-care is the key. You know, that should be your first priority, starting with self. You know, we a lot of times we put so much stuff ahead of ourselves, and they said for us to stop doing that, but you're you're doing that. You're allowing yourself to gain that retreat. You've been setting your intentions for that, and they, they're proud of you. Um, and you stay focused. You've been focusing on that retreat that's really got you there. I mean, you, Gemini, whoever y'all are out there, y'all been doing good. Y'all really have been doing good. You've been having your focus set on um, what needed to change, what had to break away. You know, what needed all your attention and nothing, certain things that didn't need your attention. You allowed yourself to cut cords. You And, and that goes into place with that um, that forgiveness. And there, y'all are doing good. You're, you have a very good spread. Okay, you first want me to pull another one. But your friendships, you're not allowing your friendships to come through. Or there, no, not the friendship that's coming through. There is a friendship that needs to break away. Because whatever this is, is, is telling you to sever cords with that. And you need to sever it quickly. Because this is like, ugh, what are they saying? It, it's just like very detrimental to your soul. It is because this 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 is really coming through where there's is like stagnant energy and sabotaging energy this is like a person that really sees your value but they don't want you to see that because they see something that is like peaking and you have a gut feeling something is peaking on you and they're trying to do everything they possibly can to make sure that they cloud that judgment of that so they're telling you to you know do that you know you've been doing for with forgiveness now they need you to do severing more cords Whoever this Gemini is has been having heavy birds flying around them. I keep hearing 
that you know you could be studying or reading a book and you keep hearing these birds chirping at you they're trying to communicate with you there are certain things that you know if they strongly connect with you like they're trying to do because from what i'm feeling you just took a major shift in the last 24 to 48 hours maybe even uh really peaked in the 72 hour period and there's something that this certain bird keeps coming in for you may uh, have a thing about even when you're going through meditations you may see an owl sitting on a tree or there's some, some somebody who's seeing a raven and I've seen it probably about three times this week um, and then someone has seen like a cardinal or um, a, a blue jay like they're side by side and there's something that that's you know their, their connection um, with the loved one that passed away and it's like these two loved ones they may have done it within a year span but they were very tight-knit and it was just like whoever this person is that passed away the, the the person that that was like it was probably like a male figure female figure and there was a very tight love bond with them so it was just like they one uh it seemed like one couldn't do without the other so it was like a heartbreak of uh, this person's passing and they couldn't see themselves without it and it was just like and sad they died of a heartbreak but it was meant to be in that way so they 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 merged together very quickly and they're their guides you, whoever this is to you that passed away it could be grandparents great grandparents or you know uh, father uh, mom you know whoever this is they're they're strongly connecting with you on that and they're they're together they always come in pairs with you it's like anytime you see that cardinal the blue jay is not that far behind so they're telling you you know they're they're trying to connect with you in a way and they're talking to you like you see them you know at the windowsill okay new love is coming in that's what i'm talking about they're telling me to pull it up new love is coming in that celebration is trying to come through but they're they're telling me you know um with the new love and the celebration is trying to come through but you have to focus on that because uh it is saying through your retreat you're going to find out a lot of different things through retreat they're telling you to get back on your studies you know you feel like romance can never take place you know you just have that feeling like god dog is taking forever is doing this is doing that but it's telling you it's uh it's not denied it's just been too late because you have to focus on healing you know not actually focusing on the new love because it's already there this is something that's already taking place but it just hasn't gone into the physical aspects of the aspects you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> you know it hasn't aspect that's what i was trying to say as of yet and this is going to happen very quickly is they say it's happening very rapid and they're telling you this this is coming and the celebration is taking place before this to take place that friendship has to be let go of so whatever this this uh this toxic friendship is they're telling you to let it go you know this can't come in if this is still there and they they're telling you to let that go for that but that new love is there and it's gonna bring you so much harmony <laughs> and they're telling you, what would you want more than that? You know, it's kind of hard at times. You know, you may not be seeing what there, what's taking place. But it's just like, don't look at it as a negative thing. You know, sometimes, you know, closing doors to endings can feel very hard. But it's opening you up to a beautiful beginning. So they say, don't be hard on yourself. Uh, let me see. Like I said, new beginnings. <laughs> oh, dang, that's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy because they said don't be focused on the new end on the uh, old endings, you know, there because you're so focused on the old endings of what is taking place with the harshness is what they hold. But, you know, this is it's, it's like what ends is bringing something beautiful. If you're going through a drastic inner um, ending, the beautiful beginnings is trying to take place. But you keep focusing on the endings and they're saying stop doing that. <laughs> You've been doing very good. And self-acceptance, self you've been allowing yourself to do that. Because I know the last time I did a Gemini uh, one, it was in reverse. But this one is now you're accepting yourself. You see how much your situations has changed you. Even if it has to been very, even if it has been very uh, drastic and very heavy. You know, you see the goodness out of this. The, the, the negative situation is brought towards your life. It was truly a blessing. You've been paying attention to the signs. You've been in so so much signs that how universe is telling you, you have done a good job 
and they are so 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 proud of you and um i gotta light this other incense because the other one blew out um you know you're you're going through these uh you know different things and you've been seeing the signs is coming through to showing you you know blessings is heading your way you deserve these things they're so beautiful and um you know that but they said you have to be able to and they know you've been working on forgiveness and they're proud of you for that but now it's at that time that when you're working on that forgiveness being able to sever that tie because these are the things that is really going to help you that was a blessing in disguise you're not seeing the magic within yourself you hold very powerful magic and they're telling you to be able to see that you know shoot capricorn had this issue too um that was taking place you know uh being able to see things through a child's eyes you know a child before they're forced to learn what to fear and what not to fear you know they see everything as beautiful they see everything as magical and they want you to be able to invest in that magic that you feel like you've lost because it's always been there it's just strengthened you know and when you get in tune with that they say it's all out going through a spiritual freedom you have invested in this freedom for so long and you finally got it judgment has been called for you it's been placed you probably have seen that you know um because i hear nail of a coffin the last nail into the coffin or what it says you know guillotines you know chopping block those different things gonna keep hearing that you're going through that you know you went through a moment of judgment and these things are very harsh with you because things are wrapping up is going through heavy uh completion but you have been free from all the things of your past you've been learning you've been forgiving not just others but as well as yourself you know being able to see these are life lessons you know um and it's just that friendship that's the friendship that's holding and it is just like whatever this is they said that's the final lap of that so they're telling you this is where you need to really kick in gear. They they appreciate the fact is that um, you have been taking that time out to forgive, staying focused, maintaining balance, you know, taking that retreat when you're needing to, stepping away and focusing on yourself. But now it's that time, you know, Guardian Angels is trying to help you to sever that bond of that friendship that is not needed anymore. It's already took its course and they're telling you to break away. La, 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 la divine guidance you but what I, i'm you know what as soon as, and i'm i'm gonna show you this y'all i'm not turning them over until i don't know if you can see that because i can't see i'm using my laptop i'm trying to make sure i don't hit that mouse but every time i say something the next thing you know the card i flip over it, it's just crazy let me see so y'all can see these it's like uh what is it four four down and five across so, yeah, divine guidance, you're getting that. They're guiding you towards your next step, the things that you have to do. You know, they're, they're helping you. When you allowed yourself to open up for the universe, because you, whoever this person is, you have really stuck out to the universe and said, you know what, um, I've tried to do things on my own because you were trying to fix everything on your own and it kept telling you um, these things can't go, you know, you can't do this on your own, knowing that you're, you know, you're here. Uh, for that you know knowing that uh, they're there for that you know they're trying to help you go through it so um, and they're telling you listen to the music the music has been telling you so much has been speaking to you through music you've been getting confirmation of that um, so many beautiful things it's like you may say something or question the next thing on the song come on to conf confirm that so they're telling you to listen to that you know allow yourself to know listening <laughs> I was like, listen to the music. You've been listening. What? A, this is crazy. You know, I just said, listen to the music, and then it says, listening. You've been listening, and they know you. It's like when it when, like they said, you've been working on forgiveness. When they told you forgiveness, you did that. When they told you to retreat, you did that. When they told you to stay focused, you did that. And they said you've been very obedient with that. You've been listening. You know, and they're telling you from your listening, you feel like you know blessings is coming this way because you're finally allowing yourself to stop ignoring the signs that you need for that initial change to take place. You're allowing yourself to be worth, knowing you're, you're worth so much better into your life. And they, they know that and they are so proud of you for that. But they're like your manifestation. There's some kind of fear or worries that's coming in. It's like you're trying to control timelines. And they say, stop doing that. Stop trying to control everything. Everything is flowing like it needs to be. But we had to step out of the way, the process of the progress. You know, that happens a lot. You know, they know, you know, with certain things is being heavy. Trust. <laughs> I was 
can sit up here and say it's not time to sit up here and control timelines and that's you know this man this is a very strong spread you know trust trust the process know that different things are taking place man that's crazy <laughs> he's just like trust the process you know your your gifts are really heightened and they want you to be able to know that um you have that support you really do you have your you have the support through your family through your friends even there's people um that is really wanting you to win when people wanting you to win they're going to help and you know they're going to participate on helping that because they know your win is their win and i'm not saying that in a greed way but they know if they're wanting this for themselves they're going to get that blessing because they're wanting that for you as well. And they're helping you with that. There, there's so much support that's coming your way, whether you know it or not. They're telling you to be able to make way for that because so much beautiful things is coming in. Truth and integrity. You've been you've been in, 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 in your trust for that. You know, knowing your truth. They're telling me to go to, to the book because something's telling me that. Ugh, let me see. I hate coming to this book. Every once in a while, they'll tell me to go to the book. Okay. Okay, and say so you are guided to be very honest with yourself. Yeah, you've been honest with yourself, and they're 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 happy with you about that. You see what makes you tick. You see what uh, gets you low. You see what makes you sad. It makes you mad, and they're telling you you you've been you've been honest with that. And it's just like um, it's like and to uh, be true to yourself in all of your activities and actions. It's like the angel says to you, let go of anything unauthentic. Yeah. And it says, uh, in all your uh, activities that you do, do not mirror uh, your highest uh, intentions of yourself. You got to release it. It's like if something in your life isn't, isn't working, be willing to release it to God and the angels. It's like when you open up your, your hands and release unf unhealthy, um, unhelpful. Uh, situations the divine light uh, can enter miracles always be followed with when we surrender our troubling conditions and so you will find that that the job relationship uh, health issue or other circumstances uh, heals rapidly in ways that you could never uh, have imagined this is all, um, all along the way the, um, the angels that perfectly guided you to these actions uh, that will either help you replace the situation with something better or it will heal entirely that uh, expect the miracle when you decide to be true to yourself yeah you be honest with yourself you know a lot of times it's hard for us to say we can't do it on our own you're not supposed to you know you have to be able to have help somewhere and you're having new ideas and inspiration is coming through you know somebody's getting a lot of uh, creative vibes is coming in that's opening up new doors for you that uh, this is what you needed you know to take you towards that next thing either you've been being, being very repetitive about uh, you know certain things that it, you've been um, in, in activities were in, I mean activities with strong connections and they're pr very proud of you for that but now they're saying you know you hold on to that but there's something else that's going to collaborate with that and they're telling you this is something that is uh, very deserving of you so they're telling you you know stay open to those ideas because it's going to inspire you to do so much more and you're healing you know you're healing when they said you know you went from you know the support is there and then you're seeing that there's hidden forces of support you may not know exactly what it is but this is something good for you but when you are honest with yourself and knowing your integrity um it allowed you to heal in different ways because you know you you place that forgiveness in there you know even though there, there may be a line of uh concern or fear about how things will underplay but it's telling you you know stop taking everything so serious you know, it's like, stop taking everything so serious. Be able to have fun. Because things are working in your favor. But a lot of times we're like, when is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? They're just telling you, you know, don't hold on how it's going to unfold. But just know it's going to unfold. You know, being able to do that. Trusting in divine time. <laughs> I was just saying, don't worry about it. And they see, you know, this car came up like, trust, you know, in divine time. And it's all going to take place for you. I don't know what's going on. It probably could this be this meditation music that got me going on. But, yeah, just trust in it. Everything is unfolding in your favor. Everything is going on in your favor. It's just re uh, relieving things. And knowing your blessings are being answered. They said there's so many good things. And even though you may be going through some heavy moments, you've been seeing when you have been asking, you have been receiving. 
you know and certain things you pray for is being answered but just in different ways you didn't expect they're, they're, they say you're worthy of these blessings you know um, something about children is going to come out either it's telling you um, you still have situations that you you have uh, based off of your inner child but these are something about a child that is going to give you peace something about a child is going to be uh, projected in light there's something about this child or maybe it may be two children that is taking place and I know it's my right here around my heart so something is going to heal within that heart because all of a sudden as soon as I said that it chest start itching but there are certain things in um in your life that is concerning children uh that something very beautiful and powerful is going to come through about these two children that you have been heavy worried about maybe you haven't been talking to your children certain things have been taking place in your life when it comes to your children you haven't doing that and this is telling you um to take more better care of your 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 uh health maybe um you know exercising you know within meditation because meditation was uh wasn't it meditation that was blocked off it was something I don't know that could be oh yeah no yeah manifestation and enchantment those are the things that they're telling you you know you've been doing a good job on that but you have to take better care of your health you know work out you know go out in nature you know jog you know if you've been weightlifting or certain things like that they're telling you to go ahead and do that you know do your retreat and that soulmate the soulmate is uh wanting to come through and it's going to they say it's going to, it's already there, but something is going to a full circle. There are certain things that are closing doors. Like while you're healing, that person is doing the same thing. And you've been getting messages, divine messages from them. You know, the uh, divine, you know, has been letting you know. Everything is going in their time, you know, is but you're all going through healing. You know, you're, you're allowing yourself to be true to yourself. And they're telling you this is going to take place, but you're so worried about this soulmate connection. And they're telling you to let go of that worry because worry creates resistance. That's what they're saying. Okay. The universe wants me to pull two more cards. Taking your power back. Wherever, wherever your your uh, vibrations of what you stay focused on, even though you forgive it, uh, you you place forgiveness in that situation. It's telling you to take your power back because there are certain things that still strongly attached to that. And knowing from when you take your 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 mir uh, your power back, miracles are always constantly working in your favor. They see the big change that you have taken place. Like in the last few weeks, you have really been hitting new heights. Like they see that you have always been working. But there's a lot of times where you have felt de uh, defeated in different things. Hold on. Ooh, just a second, y'all. Hold on just a second. Sorry about that, y'all. I had my at my door. Yeah, miracles are coming through. And there are so many different things that are yet has not yet revealed itself to you. They keep on saying when you least expect it. When you least expect it. You know, allow divine timing to come in. Knowing that your blessings are coming through. And, you know, it's like through that harmony. So, okay. You have uh, went through uh, forgiveness. There was a merge that had to take a pause for something else to be revealing uh, towards you um, and while that was uh, being gathered towards your way you have uh, allowed balance to take place but you have to pick up your studies again they say you may have slacked on it you were really heavy on that and then you had gave up on certain things not saying you gave up all the way but you allowed something to still steer you away from that and they say you can get back on track um, and you, you've been placing your intentions and they're proud of you for that and they can keep, keep continuing to work on that you know your guardian angels is trying to open up new doors on you uh while uh while you're on that retreat when you're allowing yourself to go through that retreat where it's telling you they're placing you in isolation like they have had it's been quiet they said it's been quiet they've been luring luring you from isolation um and solitude and these things are going to clear your mind and everything uh, for that romance to go into play but you had to be able to allow your guardian angels to come in you know on, on that heavy they're heavy on this friendship that you have been second guessing like you see that this person is not right for you in their life and they're showing you that through the disappointment and the heart heartaches that they're giving you on that 
and they want you to be able to stay focused on your healing um, and they're allowing yourself to, uh, to go through that your new beginnings is take a pause until um, you allow that friendship to really sever you know through all that you know accepting they're self-accepting, uh, and they're really proud of you for that. You've been seeing the signs, but allow the magic. Just you know, allow allow the magic to uh, guide you towards that because it's leading you towards more freedom. And you're getting, you're allowing the divine guidance to come true. They, they said it's just the guardian angels that you're not allowing yourself to connect with, because uh, sometimes it may feel like because the shift is so powerful, you may feel like it's a negative influence, but it's actually not. You've been listening to the music. You've been listening to your intuitive, you know, is 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 speaking to you the the truth through your music, your manifestations has uh really, you know, um have been heavy because you you feel that moment of doubt because you're not trusting the process, and they they're telling you you have that support. Keep it true to yourself, you know, and when you're allowing yourself to let. Uh, use your free will to help, you know, to allow uh, the divine to step in. You know, that's when things start really leading you towards a faster success. Ideas and inspirations is taking place and allowing yourself to continue the healing. But allow yourself not to take everything so seriously. They say, you know, add fun to your life and trust the divine timing because blessings are really coming in. What is it about these children? Because there's like uh, more than one child. It, it was first one, but now there's more than one that's coming in. Either it's about you and your inner child, like whatever this is about your children, it's connected strongly to your inner child that you have not all the way healed from. So whatever is concerning this, these children that you, you um, have a question about is going to connect strongly to your inner child. So allow that to happen. And through that, you know, take exercises. Be active and productive. Uh, stop uh, worrying about the soulmate because the soulmate is already there. And it's telling you to take your power from that. You know, take your power back. You know, because you may be feeling like these different things are taking place. Um, about your soulmate, and you may feel a little doubt, and they tell you not to do that, you know, because that doubt can, you know, really take a rift in it, because the new love is merging, <laughs> and then, you know, as soon as it said that, you know, it's like the soulmate, they're telling you to take your power back, because new love is coming in, and, it, you know, and whatever you're going through right now, it is press the pause on the celebration to come through, but harmony and miracles are really taking place, and they're telling me to do this, okay, Archangel Michael has been trying to connect with you, he will help you sever those bonds from old friendships is no longer needed so he's telling they're, they're telling you to um invoke that so you know i'll go ahead and allow y'all to see these you know um there it goes uh you know i'm gonna hold up these pictures right there oh i'm gonna hit that daggone mouth okay these are the pictures that I'm holding up. The cards, I mean. Um, you know, your new love is coming through. The celebration is not denied. It's on hold just for a brief moment. They said it's just for a brief because there are certain things that are uh, that has not been revealed just yet uh, for that to take place. When that does, that harmony is stepping stepping through with that. And knowing the miracles is coming right along is 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 counteracting with the you know it's collaborating or collaborating with your your harmony the miracles is taking place, and for that to get you extra help you know call on Archangel Michael and they're saying Raphael too, so those so it, it you had a really good reading Gemini I'm so proud of y'all and congrats you needed that but it's just showing you this is going to be your cheat sheet you already have it. You know, and they say just don't be so heavy on when, you know, when is that, that new love coming in because they're already there. They're already there, but it can't go into full merge until you allow yourself to release and let, you know, divine do its timing, you know, because everything is coming in for you. You know, but they say stop worrying. It's there. And you know, it's going to take place. So, you know, it's coming in rapid because you can feel something changing. Really, it, it really is. So allow that to come in. So I'm, I'm glad about this for y'all. Gemini, you really did good. Much love to you. And I hope, you know, if you ever want a uh, private reading, please, you know, uh, drop me a line. You can get in contact with me. My script, you know, my contact information is in the description box below. Um, and if this resonates with you, please, you know, drop a comment. I would really love to know. Um, if this is helpful for you you know this is for the month of may everything is going good for you gemini and you know these things are really good so congrats for that 
Much love to you. Peace.